All right, messy weather tonight. Kind of weather you want to be ready for. So let's get the latest on conditions from KDK meteorologist Ray Petlin. Ray. Well, the good news is this one is sticking quite to plan. The bad news is for some spots that that plan does include a night with some freezing rain. That would be up in the ridges. The changeover from freezing rain to rain is trying to occur. At least that's how it's showing up on the radar right now in Pittsburgh, although the North Hills does still have that spotty freezing rain that is going to continue to progress northward through the night. Now you go south of town and we have this rain and in some cases this rain has been heavy at times. Still steady from California to Union Town and Bullskin, but you go up into the ridges and once you get to Somerset outside of uh, Ligonier, outside of Uniontown, this is where we start to see that freezing taking place and we are getting some freezing reports coming from uh, areas as you get up into the ridges and as you go up north as well is Newcastle. So winter weather advisories for our communities up to the north till 10 a.m. I think that is going to expire earlier than that and until 7 a.m. we have the ice storm warning for the ridges where they're going to see more of a prolonged period of this freezing rain. Somerset reporting rain right now. Greensburg as well. We did have some uh, freezing rain reports in Johnstown in the last hour. Freezing rain reports in Pittsburgh, Newcastle right now with some light snow, light snow in Franklin and Washington. There's also some freezing mixed in there. Wet here in town, you can see just a soggy setup looking across the Allegheny. And when it comes to ice amounts, we're going to see the bigger numbers trying to come in from the ridges up to the north spotty, but enough where there could be some issues with traveling, especially on elevated surfaces like bridges on and off ramps, back porches. Just be careful before you step out. If it looks wet, make sure it's not icy. So we don't want you to fall. We want you to even be safe stepping out the back door. Now, when when you see here, the, the rain is going to continue to inch northward. So in the next couple of hours, this will be getting up to about 422. And then by the time we're at 3, 4 a.m., this is going to be up along I-80. But in the ridges, this sticks for a while as that freezing rain. And that's why we're going to see a little more uh, issues arise from that with potentially some power outages and very slick travel with that being the case. Now, by the time we're getting to 7 a.m., a lot of this precipitation is starting to shift out of here, which is good, and it will continue to do so and will dry up with falling temperatures into the afternoon. Rainfall amounts. These are going to be on the high side in some spots when all is said and done could be picking up an inch or more of rainfall. And with that, we cannot rule out some flooding and we're going to see some high rivers heading into the weekend as well, just because that's when it'll work, work its way to the lowest point and it'll take that time before the rivers e even here in town crest. So that's expected this weekend. Certainly implications on the North Shore Riverwalk, potentially some as you get to the 10th Street bypass. And we're watching that part of the forecast very closely. Now, tomorrow, once we get towards mid morning, we'll be able to drop the first alert weather day and then through the rest of the weekend, we should have quiet weather attached, partly cloudy skies and warming temperatures right into Sunday. Next week we bobble a little bit temperature wise, but we do find Tuesday to be mostly cloudy, but dry, <laughs> but temperatures are going to find their way into the upper 40s. We keep it in the 40s Wednesday and Thursday, so several dry days after we get through tonight and tonight into tomorrow morning. That's the roughest part of this whole entire forecast.